Morning folks, Wednesday morning. Sorry it uploaded late last night. Bloody internet on a flipping go slow. Anyway, welcome new subscribers. And uh, yeah, thanks for the few comments already this morning, even though it was late last night. As you can see, nice sunrise this morning. After yesterday's wind and cold. So let's see what today's uh, SKs are gonna bring. Uh, so say we got that thing to deal with first. Lights and a few electrical issues. So let's get this place unlocked and have a cup of tea and have a plan of attack. Got the tire man booked for Friday. Go and put the tires back on that 135 room so we can get those reassembled and out the way for now. Ah, uh, the first job of the day sorted. Said cigarette lighter didn't work. And your fuse gone, that one there. So that's an easy fix. Uh, we'll go on to the rear lights. We've got to change for some LED ones. So we've got one new LED light wired up. That's just the side light on at the moment. But the hole wasn't quite big enough, so we've got to get the burr and uh, just make the hole a little bit bigger to get the back of this one to fit in there. So with a bit of persuasion, a gentle tap, that should fit in there nicely. Bang the screws in, then we can do the other side. Well, both fitted. Also, you could get down on the floor now. Put it in the air, because it's easy to stand up and work on things, stood up rather than lying on the floor. So we'll get it on the floor and uh, just check the brake lights work. Hopefully they will. And as if by magic, we have brake lights at work. Up at the top there as well. I think I replaced those last year. So the bottom one's done now and working. Nice and bright and shiny. Time to get high, high on glue. God. <laughs> there, yeah. Rubber mat had come uh, adrift from the wall, so we cleaned off the old crap on the top there. Load of contact adhesive on there. We'll let this stick up and then put a new bit of sealer over the top. And then there's just a door down there to have a look at. Um, yeah, hopefully that will stick in the place like brand new. Oh, I'm high as a kite in here at the moment. Jeez. Can't beat a good bit of glue sniffing. Oh, there we go. Job done. Black sealer again. Well, let's start reassembling this. So that's the new rim with the centre in. We've got some new bolts there, so we'll stick some of those in. See if we can get it uh, pulled in. It'll be all ready. For tyres, get the other one done. At least it's bits out of the way. We can have a brush up and tidy up the floor then. So yeah. Nice that. That's looking all right. Like brand new. Last we'll them all back together. Looking nice and shiny. As I said before, tire man coming in Friday, so they'll have the tires back on. So we'll get those covered up and have a tidy up here. Then go and fiddle around a bit on the uh, chassis bit up there. Now we're giving the brake uh, drum a bit of a clean up, wipe round, cleaned up the edges, cleaned up the edges around that. We've already done that side and back together. Cleaned up the retaining uh, screws that hold that in place. So we'll whip that one on. And we have a tidy up round here. Find the floor again. So I'm gonna be in so much trouble for doing this and playing with this while she's away. Never mind, gotta keep going. Oh well, no, we've had a tidy up. Let's start taking this lot apart. I wanna get that off really. To make it easier where we take this lot off to do with the clutch, so it's one less thing to worry about. Plus the fact we can get it outside and give it a, a good steam clean off. Now we've got rid of a lot of stuff, so we'll uh, get that bolt out. We're obviously, I think we're missing one here. We'll get the other two out and get that lot out of it. Well, that side come out easy enough. This side, no. I'm one of the head of the nut trying to move the bolt. Ended up getting the gas in, getting some heat into there. We got it to move so far. Now it's time for the uh, air hammer. Try and get it out the rest of the way. What a tight little thing for one bolt. He's in there tight, but it's moved, so that's something. Right, we've got all the bolts undone off the tombstone, so he's ready to come off. And yeah, we do need to take it off because customers said, "I'll oh, whip the sump off, give it a clean out." But to take the sump off, you've got to take that off anyway. So. Yeah, there's two studded, stud there, stud there, stud there, and then three bolts. So hopefully now that'll just slide backwards out the way. 
and I'd be surprised because even with steam clean this, there's still stuff you can't get to. So it makes sense to take it off to give it a good clean. So I'm a bit of a roll here. Front axle bits are off. <clears throat> Should I drop myself right in it? Get the engine off now. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's get the crane. Well, the crane's over there. <laughs> I'm already going to do it anyway. So I'll get it unbolted, pull it off. Right, well, we're down to the last bolt to come out. Weight's on the crane. So, in the top. Let's see what happens. There's a good gadget, there it is. <coughs> well, it's, yeah. Get in there, get a bar, give it a bit of leverage. <coughs> Press the old screwdriver. Just held on a stud. Oh. It is free. Oh, come on. Come apart. Ah, there we go. It's off. I'll put the crane over. Move it back. <laughs> <laughs> We're off. We're separated. Let's have a look inside, see how dirty it is. Oh. Yeah. Bit grubby in there. If we can get this off and uh, yeah, I think we'll send it off to the man and have that reverbed. And uh, clutch plate. Yeah, a bit of wear on the uh, heads of those bolts. They've worn down quite a bit by the look of it. But anyway, we're gonna have to pull the gearbox off anyway, because we want to get into the back end to give that a clean out, but Oh, I'm going to be in trouble for doing this. Never mind. Never mind. Been a good morning. Well, that's the clutch all boxed up. I'm going to pass the force because I know the driver is coming in to pick it up shortly. So hopefully that'll be at its destination tomorrow. And uh, we can get that refurb pretty quick. Uh, the guy that does it for me. Get it to me ASAP because he's away on the 19th to the 24th. So fingers crossed you can get it turned around and sent it out before, uh, before he goes on holiday. Be nice if he could. Good morning, folks. Thursday morning. Did a bit more on the 135. All those stuff we took off yesterday. Got it shot blasted and um, hopefully get some primer on it. But first, need to get a good clean. Got the front tombstone there. And it's got a whole load of crap in it. And the stub axles, front axles cleaning up, and the foot plates. And see if we can do the hitch as well. So, let's get busy. Let's add some jolliffe on it. Let's give it a good steam cleaning off. Well, that's had a good clean and degrease looking bad it was, so we can uh, get it set up and get some of this blasted. Well, bit of heat, and we can get this pin out, and hopefully get the shaft out of the front tombstone axle part. It's a bit hot, we can get that out, hopefully that pin will come out. Obviously there's a circlip on the back there, take off. It'll make it easier for painting this and cleaning it with that out of the way. We like it when things come apart. Look at that. It's out. Oh, lovely. Oh, and that's out. We can give that a good clean up. A couple of shims in there. Oh, and there isn't too much wear on that pin either. That's a bonus. Good clean up. There's a tiny, tiny little bit in the back of there, but 
nothing that, you know, I've seen things a lot more worn than that. So again, good clean up, we'll stick that out on the steam cleaner again, get rid of the grease like that. But at least we can, uh, oh look, I missed a bit. See, gotta take stuff apart to get it cleaned. Well, that's cleaned up. You can see the play. That bush has worn through. Hasn't gone all the way through. So uh, we'll get a new bush. We'll, well, we'll do both of them, I think. So the front one looks okay, but the back one there definitely worn down to within its limit. It hasn't gone through to the casting, so yeah, new one. And now we've got these bits all stripped down. We'll get suited up and booted up and uh, do our horrible job shop blasting. Oh joy, at least it's dry at the moment. Well, we've got that lot done. Foot pedals, axle, I'm going to strip these down because there's a bit of play in the bearings in the bottom. And we've got that lot there as well done. Hitch, tombstone, drawbar, crossbeam, yeah. I need a coffee, but that's been a busy morning. Well, we've got a few bits and pieces hung up here now. We'll get them cooked up, primer's all mixed up. So we'll uh, get these looking uh, a different colour of grey. That's been a damn busy morning. You can see the wet coming out of that bit. up and hopefully all dry yep let's mix some grey up transform it oh, one coat of grey on there and all those bits not looking too bad so we'll let that go off a bit and get a bit more but in the meantime I might start attacking uh, these see if we can get them apart uh, we got the bolt out and we're a chisel in there and it's come off part one and get it out give it a clean up get a new bearing and get it back together we just set the thing going in the hole. and it starts to clean it out doesn't roll the paper up a little bit, but one way of cleaning the whole out. I'll we'll stick another bit in and do another one. Well, that's those all painted up, three coats of paint on them. They'll be all dry for tomorrow. So yeah, handy day's work done getting that lot sorted. Didn't finish doing that this morning when I got up, but hey ho, it's done. I was just gonna say, need to order some new bushes for there and a few other bits and pieces, so. Uh, yeah, we'll get on the phone in a minute and start ordering some parts. Righto, folks. Well, I'll let that do for today. Paint will be dry tomorrow. Tyres going on tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm going to be a whole heap of trouble, aren't I? Just had uh, chap in Ireland, Tony Armstrong, and hello, Taylor. Uh, yeah, his little boy said he's going to be in trouble. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Anyway, I can't remember what I said or not. I've got an anniversary coming up in two weeks time drop it in the comments if you can work out what it is you might be surprised how long it is anyway welcome new subscribers drop us a comment give us a like give us a share thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time until then take it steady layers <laughs>